All right, so our next speaker is one of our, it's our first uh, special guest, first, par, uh, first presenter who's not a Wizard of Ads partner. And I actually met Clint Evans um, out at Wizard Academy as our nonprofit. Uh, we've got a 20 acre campus out in Southwest Austin. It's a nonprofit. Uh, the academy teaches a variety of different classes. And I was doing some presenting there, and Clint actually was at one class and then another. And he was either a big fan of Wizard Academy or just had too much free time. But uh, we got to be uh, probably the latter. Okay. So uh, I talked to him. He wanted to, to do something. We're glad to have him. Clint uh, Evans. Yeah. I'm turned on, but I'm ready for that. Okay, mic's working. Good deal. All right, so everybody stand up right quick. I'm going to get the blood flowing. A little exercise here. As you can see, this is very realistic exercise, synchronized swimming. Um, so turn to the person next to you. Give them a good, solid handshake. And now, oh, nice, a double handshake over there. Uh, now, just rate right in your mind, you don't have to say this out loud, rate their handshake from one to five, with one being piss poor and five being outstanding. And now, okay, everybody can sit down. Got the blood flowing now. Now, for you ladies out there, have you, you don't have to raise your hands, but have you ever received a disappointing handshake from a man? Yeah. Okay. See, see some nodding going on. After that happened, did the guy have a chance with you? No. Okay, no. Usually not. Now, had he been a salesman, would you have been likely to buy from him? No. no, definitely not. And that's the way it goes. So I was pretty surprised. I shook about 10 hands so far when I first came in, and only three were pretty mediocre. So that's usually higher than I see. So a couple of quick tips is if you've ever taken martial arts, it's kind of a throat strike technique. But basically, you want to have an open web, go web to web, grip from the bottom, and pump from the bottom. Because if you torque from the top, you can cause pain and discomfort, which is no good. And so some of you ladies have probably gotten the claw. You definitely don't want that. That's, that's no good either. So pump and grip from the bottom. Basics of a good handshake. All right, so now smartphones. Directions, anyone? Now, this past week I was asking Michelle from Directions, and I know stereotypically ladies are always considered very bad with directions. And unfortunately, I have to admit that I was born without that male part of the brain that's good at directions. I'm, I'm quite terrible. So I was asking her for directions, and she says, I don't know. I've got the GPS app on my cell phone. So what cell phones have done is allowed us to be lazier, and any muscle that gets lazy, especially the brain, gets, gets dumber. So we've got to combat that a uh, couple different ways. Now, what happens? if you lose your phone. I was, talking with, I was talking with Jenny last week, and we were talking about smartphones and how she uses it, because I had read an article that said 73% of web use on smartphones happens through mobile apps and only 27% through search, through mobile search. And she was the exact opposite, which was pretty fascinating in itself. She used it mostly for searching. And the other cool thing that came out of that conversation is she had told me she lost her cell phone. So immediately I seized on it and said, all right, tell me the numbers of three of your best friends. I can't do that. They're in my cell phone. So one of the things it's also done is it's cool that you've got all this information right in the palm of your hand or in your pocket, but it's allowed us, again, to be lazy with names and numbers and that kind of thing. So how many of you are bad with names? I, I hear this a lot that I'm not good with names. And unfortunately, the most sweet sounding word in any language, any human across the globe, is their own name. So just be aware of that and get better with names. Squirrel. So some of you have probably seen this movie up. I had a nice YouTube video that didn't make it into the cut apparently, but these dogs are always, they're focused on something and they're talking dogs in the movie, and then a squirrel runs by. Squirrel and they all have two or three seconds and their focus is just completely gone. Then they gotta kinda come back and as guys, we see a hot woman walk by a squirrel and so you know, kinda <laughs> get back there. So that, that definitely um, hurts us a little bit there. So 
one of the things that's also happened with smartphones in this kind of concept is I'll find myself sometimes talking with someone or seeing other people talking together and all of a sudden, zzz, oh, text, I've got to get this text. And so I have a little more respect for people, be aware of that, that we've been trained now to have more text and a gnat-like attention span. So when you're talking with somebody in person, definitely give them precedent, precedent and uh, priority there. Because your text, I mean, you can see that mutant ninja cat swinging from the fan a little bit later. And they'll definitely appreciate you for that. So passwords. How many of you have a, what you think is a good password on your smartphone? OK, good. A couple ladies. A little disappointing. How many of you guys have a good password on your cell phone? OK, not seeing too many. Well, I would highly recommend it because even the most innocent of flirty conversations can get blown way out of proportion when you don't have a good password on your cell phone. So you only have to make that mistake once, and uh, you, you won't ever make that again. Because certain hackers, you always hear of these companies about once every other month, they'll lose the data. And it can be financial data, whatever. So this kind of thing happens all the time. And I can certainly tell you that even though you thought you had that mild, wet-mannered woman, when she smells blood in the water, she can become the world's greatest hacker overnight. So you definitely want to be aware of that. A good password is not your name. It's not your name plus the number one, your kids' names, or anything like that. Preferably, you want to have capital letters, lowercase letters, a number or two, and a couple of symbols is a good rule of thumb. Password agent zero, very nice. All right, eye contact. This is from the movie Baby Mama, uh, another cool clip that, that I had. You can get, get the slides and the links if you want to check this out. Steve Martin's character was a big master executive, and Tina Fey's character had done a fantastic job on this project. And so he rewarded her by transferring his success through five minutes of uninterrupted eye contact. Now, how many of you ladies would find that a little bit uncomfortable? OK. Well, in actuality, it's not the eye contact that is uncomfortable. In New York, they did this social experiment. It was no talk, speed dating. Now, the concept is the same as speed dating, two minutes at each station. But all you have to use is your eye contact and your facial expressions. And then, of course, they would, at the end, they would see who they had chemistry with and confirm and then exchange information. And what the observers found is it wasn't the two-minute length of the eye contact that was what caused people to be uncomfortable. It was the level of blinking. So like maybe the girl was really nervous and she was going crazy. So the guy's backing up like, man, I better not go to this girl's place. My skin might end up as a lampshade. And on the other side, guys might get a, let, a little creepy stare or not blinking at all because he's gawking at her. And that can make the woman uncomfortable. So what they found is it's the level of blinking that determines you can have long eye contact. But you just got to have a good natural blinking, not too fast, not too slow. So here we got a little children of the corn action going. Um, yeah, maybe he sees dead people or might make you demon possessed if you cross him. So you don't want to do that. And here's a cool little psychedelic eye contact there. And we get to Ray's favorite pick. Right here. Where it's at, yeah. So yeah, this was going all the way back to the caveman days, what eye contact was originally for to amplify the attraction. So when, yeah, when it comes to eye contact, definitely just be aware of your blinking and uh, get that under control. So. Other than that, that's all I got for you tonight. All right. Good job, bud. I hope so. All right, let's hear it for Clint Evans. Yeah, bud. All right, glad. So I'm calling a slight.